We just passed the six month mark of Hololive English, which added five new VTubers to the Hololive family. Kawaii Pimori, Gaur Gura, Amelia Watson, Takanashi Kiara, and Ninomai Inanis. To celebrate this occasion, I decided to make a guide to help new viewers decide who to watch. So, who should you watch from Hololive English? The short answer is all of them. They're all incredibly talented with wonderful personalities too. The long answer is all of them, but depending on what type of person you are and the type of content you like to consume, there will probably be some you want to watch more regularly than the others. Let's start with the most well-known member of Hololive English Generation 1, also known as Hollow Myth, Gaur Gura, aka You Had Me At- ah. Gura is a shark VTuber who has taken the internet by storm. She became the first member of any branch of Hololive to hit 1 million subscribers, and she hit 2 million before anyone else in Hololive English even hit 1 million. Yes, yes, yes. It's not hard to see why Gura is so popular, with her adorable design, bubbly positive personality, and ability to range from very mellow streams to extremely high energy. <laughs> You will likely enjoy Gaur Gura's content if Number 1. You're a big fan of comedic VTubers Gura has, in my opinion, the best comedic timing out of all of Hololive English. While she does make intentional jokes, she also has plenty of unintentional moments that are absolutely hilarious. In Germany, they have the grades 1 to 6. Where's 3-4? Eh? 1 to 6? In that respect, I think Gura is kind of like the Korone of the English branch. <laughs> Shampoo. <laughs> Look where you're going, Gura! <laughs> the second big reason to like Gaur Gura is her vocal talent. She may be a shark, but she has the voice of an angelfish. She's definitely not the only member of Hololive English with musical prowess, but when it comes explicitly to singing, she has the most captivating voice and does frequent karaoke streams. Like a river flows. You'll also like Gura's content if you're a fan of memes. In general, Gura seems to have the best knowledge of internet memes and trends out of the whole group, and she's the member who tends to become a meme most often herself. FBI, open up. <laughs> Next, let's talk about Amelia Watson, aka I can't believe fate didn't think of this first. Amelia is a time-traveling detective, so she's basically a Hulak fanfiction from 2013 come to life. She's a lot cuter than Sherlock's Watson, but a lot worse at chess than the computer version. You'll probably like Amelia Watson's content if… Number 1. You like gaming. Amelia Watson is best known for her gaming streams, and she's by far the most mechanically skilled out of all of Hololive English. At the same time, Amelia is also the most relatable, as she gets salty just like all of us and lets out just enough of a toxic side to be funny, without ever crossing the line and actually being mean-spirited. You have to find Joe, Joe who? <laughs> Joe Bala! <Bauer. laughs> Why you guys are funny? The second big reason to watch Amelia Watson is her high energy level. Amelia is able to put forth a ton of energy, which shines through whether she's gaming or just chatting. That keeps her content engaging all the way through. Amelia also is able to produce an incredible amount of strange and wonderful noises you won't find anywhere else. She also frequently hiccups. <laughs> Despite her overall high energy though, Amelia also does switch it up with softer things from time to time, which is always a treat. The third big thing I appreciate about Ame is that she seems to like putting out a wide variety of types of content, even if they're not things she's particularly skilled at or initially interested in. She'll try anything from video games of all genres and karaoke, to movie watch-alongs, discussions about her detective life, and reviews of viewers' dreams. I'm not saying that the other girls don't do a variety of streams, but to me, Amelia is the most adventurous and most willing to go outside of her comfort zone. Next up is Takanashi Kiara, aka Phoenix Bottom Left. Kiara's greeting is Hikariki! and she unabashedly declares her love for her genmate Kawaii Mori at every opportunity. The first big reason to like Takanashi Kiara is her intelligence, and no, that's not a meme. Despite the running joke being that Kiara is dumb, I actually think she's probably the most brilliant member of Hololive English. She speaks three languages fluently. English, Japanese, and German. She also hosts an incredibly creative talk show, Hollow Talk, 
which shows that she will go above and beyond to create original content. In addition, Kiara made the single greatest piece of content I've seen from any of the Hololive English members so far. After YouTube temporarily bonked her channel and then brought it back, she redid her debut stream as if she had just died and come back due to her phoenix powers and lost her memories. She referred to her genmates as senpai, thinking she was from another generation, and slowly went through the stream confused until she regained her memories midway through. How could I ever forget you? <laughs> another thing I want to highlight about Kiara is her personal growth. Initially, she was more likely to get discouraged by technical issues or other difficulties than the other members, and it was sad to see her feeling down. But over the past six months, she's made remarkable growth in becoming more confident and skilled at streaming. You should watch Kiara if you want to see someone who consistently strives to make better content. I'd also like to say that Kiara really shines in collabs. She's at her best when she's able to play off of other people, whether in gaming or on her talk show. Now let's talk about Ninomai Inanis, a human who came across an ancient book and gained the power to control tentacles. Ina, as she's better known, loves puns, talks quietly, and resembles an octopus, so you could call her a soft taco. But enough stalling, it's time I talk about why watching Ina is such an eldritching experience. First off, you'll like Ina if you like chill streams. As I mentioned, Ina is generally very soft-spoken and she's the perfect streamer to watch after a long day when you want to relax. Are you guys ready for some good head pats for behaving yourself? Hop, 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 hop. At the same time, that's not to say she's low energy. She always stays interesting, and oftentimes she'll hit you with an amusing joke or pun out of nowhere. The second big reason to watch Nina Mai Inanis is her drawing talent. While there are several members of Hololive English who are skilled at drawing, Ina is indisputably the best, creating absolutely stunning art. She also has streams exclusively dedicated to drawing, so you can watch her work firsthand. In addition, if you're someone who's really into VTuber models, you'll probably find Ina's to be the most captivating in Hololive English, especially when she switches between her normal form and her form with the tentacles out. And last, but certainly not least, is Calliope Mori, aka Paripa the Rapper, aka MC Scythe, aka DJ Cali. Yes, I came up with way too many puns for her. If you've seen any of the other content on my channel, you can probably guess that Calliope is my favorite member of Hololive English. Calliope is best known for her music content, where she raps and sings. Kali likes to drink wine and play the kazoo, and she creates an incredibly lovable noise dubbed the guh. Yeah. You should watch Calliope Mori if you want regular musical content. While the other Hollow EN members have karaoke streams, and Kiara has even released two original songs, Mori is the only one who makes music the centerpiece of her channel. She's already released one EP and has a second on the way, and her first EP even hit number one on the iTunes charts when it was released. Her songs vary greatly in style, too, with some having more rapping or singing than others and ranging from fast and aggressive to calm and introspective. A second good reason to watch Calliope Mori is her interaction with the community. While all of the Hololive English members are very good about things like reading super chats and retweeting fan art, I think Calliope offers the most nuanced interactions with her community. One example of this is how she held a remix contest for one of her songs and chose the top entries to play on her streams. Calliope also does things like play notes on her kazoo for every super chat, and she's even willing to try out things she doesn't have experience with, like ASMR, because she knows it will make the community happy. Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Kelly's care for her stream members is reflected in her super chats. Despite the sub gap between Calliope and Gura, Kelly is actually the most donated to member of Hololive English. The third big thing to like about Calliope Mori is her incredible work ethic. Up until recently, she was working multiple jobs on top of streaming, and she decided not to quit those jobs early despite making a lot of money from streaming because she wanted to follow through on her existing commitments. Kelly also does an incredible amount of work when it comes to her own content. She writes lyrics, she performs, she makes animations, and sometimes she even creates her own beats. Right, 
Even when she's doing something that's not musical, you know she'll put more than 100% into every stream. So to summarize, watch Gaur Guda for the laughs, music, and memes, watch Amelia Watson for quality gaming, high energy, and adventurous content, watch Takanashi Kiara for big brain streams, amazing growth, and creativity, watch Ninomai Inanis for comfiness and puns, high quality drawing, and a great model, and watch Kawaii Mori for stunning music, good community interaction, and consistent hard work. All of these channels are amazing and all are worth giving a try. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, as it will help me out a lot as I grow the channel. I'm Matrix from Matrix a and anime and more, and I hope you have a great day.